Hey guys, wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about one of my favorite Spydercos. Doesn't get as much pocket time as a lot of the others, but it is an absolutely wicked knife. It was designed by Michael Janich, and I am talking about the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. The Spyderco Yojimbo 2 was basically designed for combat in mind, um, self-defense. It has a very thick um, hollow grind blade that is super, super slicey, guys. And I mean, it has a splinter digging, pokey, pokey, stabby, stabby point. Um, it typically comes with uh, the carbon fiber G10 handles. I replace these with some Knives Plus titanium scales with the Mayhem anodizing pattern. I thought they looked really good on the knife. But the knife comes with a 20 S30V, um, I said 20, S30V steel for the blade. It comes with G10 handles. I've got the titanium handles on it. It is a small to medium sized knife. This knife has, for Spydercos, probably the strongest detent of any Spyderco knife that I've experienced. I love that. After using other knives, it takes me just a second to get my hand back to being expecting it. I mean, because you've got to give it a little force to get it to kick out there, but when it does, it's going to open up with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Um, I cannot underestimate or understate the comfort of this knife in hand. Uh, you do not feel the clip. I do have a deep carry clip on it. Um, not the Lynch clip, but the uh, MX, I forget, clip. But this knife goes great in the hand, goes great in the pocket. It is a little heavier with the titanium scales, but I just think it's a fantastic knife for uh, anything that would be thrown your way. I wouldn't use it for feather sticking. I wouldn't use it for any prying because it does have a pretty delicate sharp tip. But in terms of your urban EDC environment for cutting packaging, cutting boxes, processing cardboard, uh, processing food, cutting food, um, using it for self-defense, I think it's just a fantastic, well-designed knife. Um, and I just think it looks wicked. They also make the Yojumbo, which is its bigger brother. This knife, as you can see in my medium to large size hands, I have more than enough room in the handle to get all types of grips on this knife, and I've got room to spare. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons. I'll have the specs in the description, and you guys can look them up too. But let's look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max. And next to the Civivi Mini Baby Banter. Let's look at it up beside the bug out. Spider Co Paramilitary 2. So guys, it's smaller than the pair of two, just a little bit bigger than the bug out. It's probably got about a quarter inch on the bug out and blade, but that gives you a good idea of the size of the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. It is a USA made knife, made in Golden, Colorado here on the planet Earth. It is uh, very unique. It's definitely not a knife that I would tell people to rush out and buy if they're just looking for an everyday folder or an EDC knife. But if you are looking for something different, if you're looking for something very slicey and unique, um, I like the Yojimbo too. I think it's a great knife. Um, I wish I carried it more. I think it's a fantastic knife and it will be staying in my collection because I'm kind of crazy like that. Um, and I'll keep it there because I like it and it means a lot to me. MXR is the clip that I couldn't remember earlier because I knew it wasn't a lynch. But anyways, guys, most importantly, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to the right. Please look out for each other and love one another. 
be kind to one another, and just have an absolutely fantastic day. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for, if you are so inclined, subscribing to my channel. I love you all, and peace.